My hag of a stepmom gave away my PlayStation 4 while I was away in college. So I rent out her house while she was on her honeymoon with her newest husband. I have been reading lots of Reddit lately, especially entitled parents, but made a new account when I came across this page. I never thought I'd actually try to contribute something. Until now Reddit has just been my guilty morning coffee red. So here goes. I'm an only son. My mom died of ovarian cancer at only 55 five years ago. It broke my dad's heart. They had been together since college and were the same age, with my dad being a month older. I'm 22, and am about to graduate college with my degree in chemistry when the main events start to occur. I went to college on a full-ride scholarship. This is important later. My dad met my now stepmom when she was my mom's nurse at the hospital where she spent her final days. My stepmom Grace played all the right notes to gain my dad's trust. She was empathetic to him, nurturing, comforting after my mom passed. I was 17 and old enough to sense that she was just trying to weasel her way into getting my dad's resources, but it was up to my dad if he wanted to be in a relationship with her. I was in my final year of public school and had just won a scholarship to attend college out of the country the following year. My dad mourned my mom for a year and that whole time Grace would check in on him by phone every month or so, in my opinion to scope out the possibility of sinking her hooks in him. After a year passed Grace took the gloves off and went hard after my dad. Grace was only 40 when she and my dad started seeing each other. I didn't like her but at the same time my dad at least didn't seem so depressed anymore so I tried to be less pessimistic about her and give her the benefit of the doubt. In my gut I didn't trust her, though. But we are Scandinavian and at least in my family the son does not tell his father what to do or even offer any opinion. Grace is from the Czech Republic if you're wondering. My father was a very successful banker during his career, and amassed quite a portfolio of wealth. I'll spare you the details, but after six months of dating, Grace and my father are married. My dad never really got over my mom though, and he was getting weaker and weaker even though he was only 57. Since his health was fading he called me to him and asked me point blank, boy, what do you need to set you up in this life? I told him I don't need anything, I'm a man and can take care of myself, but what are you even talking about dad, you're going to be around for decades yet. I did remind him that he had living sisters with children, my aunts and cousins. I also reminded him that I had a full scholarship to college so don't worry about giving me any cash. He was dead only a year later at 59. I of course have seen lots of Hollywood movies so I consider the conspiracy theory that maybe my dad's nurse wife poisoned him and made him sign over all his money to her, but I really honestly do not think that's what happened. Other relatives didn't like Grace either, but they knew my dad was totally in love with my mom and that her death utterly broke him. Well long story short. My dad bequeathed his five-bedroom house to me even though I wasn't expecting it and didn't ask for it. He gave a small endowment to each of his sisters and their children. He left about 80% of all his existing money to Grace, which amounted to several hundreds of thousands of dollars. My dad ignored me because he's generous to a fault and still gave me several tens of thousands of dollars, which were of course very useful to me. Grace tried to put on a friendly front but I could tell she was angry as hell that she didn't get my dad's house, too. That belonged to me, and I had the legal papers to prove it. She was especially mad because we live in an extremely upscale and trendy location, and houses are hard to come by and easily sold for massive profit. During the first few months after my dad's death, I had the nauseating, creepy experience of knowing that Grace was trying to feel me out to see if I might be into a little relationship with her. Um, gross. She still stayed at the house though because over the last three years she had gotten used to living there and acting like she owned it. And, even though I officially owned it, I was always away at college and only visited my dad's old house once every couple of months, and even then it wasn't to see Grace, but to see my cousins who lived just a few miles away. I downplayed the fact that it was really my house, and over the months I think Grace gradually forgot that she really had no legal right to the house. She probably believed that sooner or later, because I never asked her for any of the hundreds of thousands of my dad's dollars that she now had, that I was somehow independently wealthy and would just give up my house to her. I knew I'd eventually hydrogen bomb this B asterisk TCH when she started dating some new guy only 5 months after my dad was in the ground, and one time when I came home from college after graduating she and her new boyfriend, 
Some sleazy looking d bag named Ivan, who was only a few years older than me, were acting like I was a guest in my own house and that they owned it. I played along. Grace told me she gave away my PlayStation 4 to Ivan's cousin because I'm too old to play with video games. I don't even know this, and you give him my PS4 to give away to some other SH T who I also don't know. I quickly changed all my network passwords that same day. I smiled, but I knew what I had to do eventually. She also said that she and Yvonne were getting married because I just can't mourn your father forever. I have to move on with life. I tell her that I graduated college and already secured employment with a local firm, and will soon find a new place to live. She looks thrilled. Especially the part where it looks like I'll soon have a new place to live. Then in a patronizing way she tells me, you always have a place in our house though, you are welcome to stay whenever you please. Thanks. Grace, really generous of you. What I really say is that I will probably have a new place in three months. She says that is wonderful because she intends to go to her homeland to have a wedding with Yvonne and afterward have her honeymoon. She assures me it's a local affair otherwise I'd invite you, honey. And anyway I know you're so busy. I congratulate her. She asks me if I can watch the house for her. Watch my own house? Sure. What I really say is of course I will take care of the house. I am careful to not say your house. She and her d-bag fiancé, who I am 100% sure is only there for Grace's money, go on their trip and I immediately put out advertisements in rental websites offering to lease my house. I hire movers and have all of Grace's furniture and possessions boxed up and put into a storage rental facility. I retain all of my parents' furniture that they had before my dad met Grace. Locks changed. All of them. Within days, I am inundated with dozens of inquiries regarding my amazing, furnished house with fantastic views. I rent it to a wonderful young family. A barrister and his school teacher wife and their two preteen children. They pay me their first and last month's rent, and sign a lease for a year. I warn them about my crazy stepmom who thinks this is her house, but I present them with contact information to my lawyer, the same lawyer my dad retained, in case they need any assurance that I'm on the level. I also give my lawyer the information about the storage facility, including the fact that I generously paid four months of storage in advance, which is a whole month longer than Grace's Czech honeymoon adventure. I then found a great apartment in the city near my new place of work. There I met a woman in a restaurant I frequent at night after a long workday. We have been dating six months now and are engaged to be married. Grace of course tried to shriek and cause trouble when she realized she got kicked out of my house but my lawyer quickly shut her mouth without my having to ever speak to her garbage face again. From what I hear, her and her trash husband left the country and I assume they're blowing through my dad's money and will soon be broke like chavs usually become when they taste a little bit of what they think is the good life. So maybe Grace will go and try to exploit some other lonely man into giving her his money. Speaking of money, the house that I rent out is generating so much money that I not only am able to help pay for my cousin's college, but I moved into a larger apartment of my own, together with my fiancé. I love my job but really, I could survive solely on renting my dad's old house. And to think. If Grace had only been cooler and nicer I might have let her stay at the house, just to be a good sport. And definitely if she stayed the hell out of my room. But no, she had to act all proprietary so I had to make her homeless as a wedding gift. Postscript. I bought another PS4, even though I didn't even use my old one that much. It didn't matter. It wasn't for Grace to give away. You don't give away other people's things. You give away your own things. Which is why I chose to kick Grace out of my house. Because it's mine, and I decide who stays there.